Hey, everybody. All right. So as promised, I'm going to give you a little tour of my new interim home. As you know, I sold my house, and so I needed to find something quickly because it went really fast uh, to live in, in the interim until I find another home that I probably want to refurbish and sell again. But I found this fantastic loft style home in the city, and I've enjoyed living here so much. So I want to give you a quick tour. Most importantly, I want to show you how I repurposed and used so much of what I had in my other house. I just reworked it in this space because I wasn't trying to spend a lot of money on a place I knew I wasn't going to live in for, for long. All right? So come over here. I want you to check out this little nook that I created right underneath the stairs. If you remember, this is my living room table from the old house. It was set right in the living room and it had a massive kind of sofa right behind it. It used to be L-shaped, but I moved the other piece. But this is a wagon. This is like a one of a kind um, wood coffee table. That's of course like a wagon. It actually really rolls. You see that? But here I thought to myself, I need a utility space. This is too big for this house. So I can repurpose and really make it be a utility space. So as you see, I keep baskets here with like my hand weights, little balls I use for working out. I created a little nook here, easy, like two $20 little hooks. And I hang all of my workout bands on this side. And then here, I just use my little easy coats, hat, and of course a limitless tote bag because we cannot go anywhere without one of those. And then I just got this little cute shelf here and this houses some of my free weights down here, the shoes for my Peloton, some yoga towels, and my sneakers. And then hidden in the corner are just my yoga mats. So if I'm going out the door to yoga, I can grab them there. And most importantly, if I want to work out here, which is kind of my entryway gym, I can just lay it out and do it right here. So this little space was really awkward and small. It, it really meant nothing. I know people probably used it as a small office space or storage or maybe a little small sitting area. I decided to make this little small space in the entranceway like a gym slash foyer, right? Or is it foyer? Whatever you want to call it. So as you can see, my Peloton, right, that used to be in my bedroom at the old house. Remember I got this during the pandemic and put it in my bedroom so I could look out at the view. Well, I decided to leave it down here, and then I just did a television screen right across from here. So if I am looking at the news or looking at whatever, I can do a Peloton class, I can do other workout classes here on the television, and it's just a nice purposeful entryway. And I think it worked out pretty well. This is an old picture. These are all pictures from the old house. I just reworked them in this space. Behind here, there's a little ugly electrical panel that I didn't like, so I just covered it up with this huge picture. This picture used to be in the hallway of the old house that led back to the bedroom. This picture used to be in the den, and it's one of my favorite sayings. You know, I think I'm gonna create a line of these um, paintings, these little paintings, because I love these paintings that have intentional words. And this one says, in this house, we laugh a lot, we try our best, we're patient most of the time. <laughs> we tell the truth, we support each other, we hug often, we make mistakes, we never give up, we always forgive, we keep our promises, we always have fun, but above all, we love. And I'm gonna tell you something, I never get tired of walking down these steps out and looking at that as a reminder of what energy I want in my home. Now, this little bench here used to be right in front of my bed at the old house, but I used it here and I took one of the pillows off of my bed because this is a great little place. If I come down here and I need to put my shoes on or take my boots off, this is a great place to sit for me and for CJ so that we can, you know, take our shoes off without falling. So I thought that was really, really a good thing. And then this, I had this in the garage at the old house, never used it. And when I got here, I said, perfect place. Perfect, if I wanna read a magazine, I can read it while I'm riding. Keys, CJ's old enough now to kind of carry his own key. So he uses that as a place where he hangs his key. And then behind you, 
These two pictures never made it into the old house. These two mirrors, I should say. But I got these mirrors at this closeout sale for like $20 each. I was like, I'm gonna put these mirrors up. So therefore, when I'm working out, I have a place if I'm lifting dumbbells or whatever, I can just do it. It's not a full length mirror, but it still works and it frames out the Peloton nice. All right, so that's the little entryway foyer. Let's go upstairs. All right, we're on the second floor. So the second floor is really the kitchen and kind of a living area, living slash family room area. Very small area. Again, I'm in the city, so not getting a lot of space like I did at the old house. So I really had to make some adjustments. But you'll be surprised at how much you can keep from your old space if you're downsizing into a smaller space or if you just want to rework your furniture in your house so it feels like you have a new house. I love it. So this kitchen is quite small. I didn't do much to that. I literally counterscaped and called it a day and I did it where it was very functional, not a lot of the extra on the countertops. I just kept my neutral bullet here. I really don't like a lot of stuff on my counters, but I have figured out like little tips on how to stay healthy. And one of the things are like little reminders. This reminds me to have my protein shake. It reminds me that it's not gonna take that long, get it done, so I leave that on the counter. You know I love a cup of tea in my Limitless mug. So I have my tea kettle here. Just a few little things over here in these canisters, nothing big. Honestly, I really did that for texture and color more so than actual use. I love like black eyed peas and pastas and chia seeds. It's just a really good look. And then I just keep my fresh fruits here, lemons, bananas, whatever I have. And I try to leave them here so I remember to use them. You know, making my lemon water in the morning. So I like to keep lemons on the counter. And then of course, I love a fresh flower. In every home there is to me nothing better than just having a fresh flower um, to just brighten up the space, make it come alive. And so this kitchen isn't that large. I keep it simple, wooden cutting board, make sure I'm chopping those vegetables and trying to meal prep, which I don't do. But I think overall, it is enough space for you know CJ and I to kind of get done what we need to get done. All right, so on the other side of the kitchen um, island, same acrylic bar cart as I had before, but here I brought in these acrylic see-through stools for two reasons. One, functional, you can have a place to eat that isn't very formal, quick and easy meal. Two, they are clear so that they're not bulky, they don't take up a lot of space. The old white big leather stools I had at the other counter, just too much, too much. So these really come in handy, truth be told, they ain't that comfortable, but we won't be here long. So they work for this space and they were totally inexpensive. I think maybe each stool is maybe a hundred bucks or something, 130 bucks, not expensive at all. These are the same two ottomans from the old house in the living room. And what I did have to do in this space is get a new smaller sofa. I did not invest a lot. I went to one of the, I can't remember the name of the store now, but it's just a real inexpensive sofa. I did not go all out. I'm not gonna be here long. This is gonna be a total giveaway or, or, or quick sale when I leave, but it serves the purpose and it frames the space well. Um, and I just took the pillows that used to be on the couch and layered them through. I added in some of other pillows that I had. This silver pillow is the pillow from my bed. I just mixed and matched it. Same rug from the old house. And then I went to Home Goods and found that little coffee table for like $150 because it doesn't take up a lot of space. Worked out perfectly. As you can see, I have not spent a lot of money yet. That's what I wanted to do. One of the things I also did in this space is, now this one I wasn't so sure. I decided to go ahead and use my dining room table from the old house. It is humongous. But I didn't want to get another one because, you know, a dining set with chairs, that's a huge investment. I knew I wouldn't be here long, so I decided to do it. My trick, what I did was, I took the same, these are the same like acrylic ghost chairs. These are the same ones, but I took the dining table and pushed it against the wall. If you recall at the old house, I had this bench, because one side has a bench, on the outside wall. This is gonna drive me crazy. So that. Okay. Oh, 
little CD taken care of. Um, but I have the bench on the outside at the old house. Here, I put the bench behind here so I could drag the table close to the wall. Takes up less space. I used to have a runner and all of that on the table at the old house. Took all of that off because it was a little too bulky. I just kept the, the white candelabra because I felt like it connected and made the space a lot, little lighter and brighter. And what's great is if I'm having an event or a dinner, I can move this out and people can sit comfortably. And then when I'm done, I push it back into this corner and it worked out. This was one of the things I wasn't so sure of, but I was like, I'm not buying a dining table for this house. We're going to make it work. And it did. You remember this? This used to be right, um, but it used to be the long way, right? The vertical way at the old house adjacent to this dining room. And if you recall the old house, there was that big chandelier that um, was kind of looked like a jellyfish with all of the crystals. Oh, I miss that. I actually, they wanted that with the house. So I sold that with that. But I decided it's better now to not have anything hanging. Just keep it simple because this is a monstrosity anyway. Um, this chair was in the sitting area at the old house. Put it there, kept the limitless pillow, super easy. And if you recall, this bookshelf, these two, these are called the D bookshelves, which is so funny. Well, I put them together and here they are an O bookshelf, all right? Because we used to have them separated at the old house. They kind of framed this long mirror. But here I moved them together. I accessorized them with books, family photos, little trinkets, things I would like to use that were just that remind me of, of my family at home. And it's a really great backdrop to this house. This picture here, that was in the bathroom at the old house. So I just brought it over here because the shelves weren't quite tall enough to marry with the top part of that ceiling. And I kept feeling like something was missing. And I just went down to the garage, went through a box, found that and put it up there. And I said, you know what? It works. This credenza was another thing I thought was not going to fit in this place. In this place. But I was like, you know what? What can you do? Just try, and if you don't like it, carry it back out of here. So in the old house, I did not have the legs on it. Because at the old house, everything was sitting kind of low. I used to have tons of family pictures on it, and I just liked it without the legs. In this house, I wanted the height. I put the legs back on, and then I just accessorized it. CJ loves to play chess, so I got like an acrylic chess set. Just kind of put simple things in there. I couldn't put a lot of family pictures. Too tall, mounted the TV. And if you remember, these were in the dining room of the old house. These simple, they're kind of like long spears. I love them. Just simple mirrored accent pieces that I think reflect light nice in the space. So this ended up working out. To my surprise, this dining room table and this credenza really worked out in a way that I never planned. And I think that's so important when you are designing a space or you're repurposing your furniture or moving things around. It's all trial and error. And if it doesn't work, get rid of it, put it back. It's up to you. So that's the second level. Hope you like it. A lot of stairs in this house, y'all. Literally have to come upstairs for every level. It's four levels, so I'm definitely getting my work out in. So you ready to go see the rest of this level? Okay, follow me. So over here, as you can see, it's just like a little walkway, hallway. Remember, I had these masks. They were up at the old house. This particular mirror was in the den at the old house. And it was mounted right above this kind of credenza. I put it here. We've got washer and dryer, which is nice and accessible, easy. And then I'll let Brooke show you this powder room. It's really small. A little cart used to be in the other powder room behind you. Everything from the old house. Just made it work. All right, let's go upstairs to the third floor. All right, so this is CJ's room. Very small bedrooms in this space. Again, in the city, it's been tough. But I was able to create a big boy room for him using the guest bedroom bed from the old house. Now, remember in the old house, CJ had that loft style bed, white, with his desk underneath. Well, since he's away at boarding school, he really doesn't need a desk in his room anymore. So I decided to use the guest bedroom queen size bed in here, went to Pottery Barn Kids, they never fail. They've had a full NFL comforter set 
which you know he loves football. So I got him that along with some other accessories. And I'll show you a couple things I repurposed from the old house, which I thought was really cool. One, he loves to collect, this is his little Bengals paraphernalia. You know he loves the Bengals. Actually, Marvin Lewis, the former head coach of the Bengals, gave him these things when he visited the complex, so he likes to keep them out. But this was in the den at the old room. It was his little toy chest. I put it in his room here so he could do, you know, keep his games and things that I didn't want to see out all the time. So one of the other fun things I did in this space is I repurposed. If you remember, this was like a credenza with books. The long way it was sitting on its, really it was sitting the right way at the old house sitting long on the floor in the family room. It had family pictures and books and various things. Well, we needed a bookshelf for his room. I was like, well, why am I buying a new bookshelf? What could I do? You know what I did? I took the same credenza, I turned it on its side. I set it up against the wall. I had my contractor basically just put a couple of anchors in the wall and attach it so that it doesn't fall over. And I accessorized it with his books and with his trophies and it worked out perfectly. I'm so proud of this little space because it's on its side. Now, yes, you can see that here, there, that's where you can see it was really supposed to sit the other way. But I'm gonna tell you, I don't care about raw things like that. There are little things that just don't bother me. I'm really happier that I repurposed something and I think it's really cool how it turned out. So I'm really, really, really pleased with that. His guitar that he convinced me to get during the pandemic that he never plays. That's there too for decoration. So that's CJ's room. He has his own bathroom, thank God. That he keeps relatively clean, but you know, he's still a boy. Let me show you my room. All right, so this bedroom was a problem. Number one, it was small. And number two, I needed it to feel big. How did I do that? I went and whited it out. I wanted to use my bed. This is a California King. It was fine in the other bedroom, way too big for this space. So I had to get a new bed, simple white leather headboard. And then if you remember, these pictures were in the office at the old house. And I just layered them here to bring in some black and white things. One pillow was from my old bedroom. Actually, two pillows are from my old bed. That pillow on the end is from the guest room. I bought this little chair because it was very small and I like to have a place to sit and read. This bench, I ordered this. I didn't really like it. I still don't, but it's functional. And sometimes you just take the L and keep moving. <laughs> That's how I, I was like, I've looked all over for a bench. The fur looked a lot different on the picture. When I got it, it kind of looked a little party city. But you know what? By the time it all comes together, it works for me. These pictures were in the office at the other house. Just brought them in here. Bought this little acrylic table, made it simple, keep some fresh flowers. And then this little dresser here was in the hallway at the old house. Just put it here, accessorized with some books, a picture of my baby, and of course, a limitless candle. You'll hear about those again soon. And that's how I kind of made this bedroom feel as big as possible. I love this farm door, this sliding door. This makes me happy. Uh, one of the th little things I just love in the space. And then the bathroom's here. You can go in there and check it out. Super small, but functional, and a nice deep tub. I know I love some zebra. So I had to put some zebra in there. And now it's time to go up to the fourth level. Last one, I promise. <laughs> Y'all remember that mirror? So fun fact about this mirror. I have had this mirror probably over 20 years. It's a symbol to me. I bought this mirror myself and one of my best girlfriends, Teresa Lee. We bought these mirrors together. When I was buying my first home in New Jersey years ago, 20 years ago. And I got this mirror. This mirror has gone in every house with me. For some reason, I have to have it up. I find a place for it wherever I go. She does the same thing with hers. They remind us of each other. It's an L style mirror. So you'll see this probably for the rest of my life in the houses that I show you. Last floor, going up. All right guys, so welcome to the third bedroom, which I converted into my office. Now, honestly, when I first came to see this place, I was not sure about it until I walked up to this fourth floor. And then I decided, you know what, for a year or so, I can live here. I absolutely love this space. I thought about making it my bedroom, but I said, you know what, I need rest in my bedroom, which I feel like I pulled off with that kind of dreamy, white, neutral space. And up here, I needed the inspiration for my business. And so 
This is where I work. I love being up here. I can stay up here until the wee hours of the morning creating. I brought in some things from the old office. The old office was kind of white and black, but I did treat myself for it to a new desk, a new chair, a little bit more space for organization, keep an extra desk over there. If CJ's home and has homework, he has an extra desk, more storage back here. I actually decided to finally put my degrees back up on the wall. I think in the last house, they were like in the garage for forever. I actually had to get a couple of them reframed because they were broken. So got that done. Those up. This is like one of my favorite things. This is a poster of from the Emmy win for paternity court. The entire staff signed it. It is one of the things that I love to look at. I still look at every individual name and read it and just think about what an absolute honor and joy it was to do that show. And then here, I just got a simple little cheap bookshelf because I needed somewhere to put books. And this is also like a cheap Zoom space. So when you guys see me on Zoom or on interviews, if I kind of move the desk over a little bit and put my chair here, this creates a really cute backdrop for Zoom calls. I need that. And I need it to be easy and I need it to be quick. And sometimes I want a space that looks a little more lawyery. Sometimes I want a space that has a little bit more color so I'm able to move around in that space. And of course, I finally put the Emmy up. It's up. I love looking over here and just thinking about how far I have come. It's been a long 20 plus years in this industry, but very fortunate and very thankful for all I've been able to experience and accomplish. Now you really wanna know the reason why I decided to get this house? It was this part of this space. Let me show you. When they showed me that these doors open up all the way up on both sides, I said, I gotta have it. So even this side. When the agent opened up this space like this, full California vibe. And I was like, you know what? I can work up here. So that's what I do. I open up the space, total open air. Uh, I threw the TV up here. That's because I'm usually watching the news and working. Outdoor here is outdoor space. I just put two cozy little chairs. I got that on like a sale. I, I don't know what, what holiday, it was some holiday and there was a huge sale and I picked that up. And then on this side, if you recall in the outdoor living space at the old house by the pool, there was this huge table. I did not think this table was gonna work up here, but I was like, I'm gonna try it. And it did. Oh my God, I love to eat al fresco out here. I did these little string lights, just simple string lights up top. They look great at night um, and can have a meal, have tea sit out and work, have meetings, and it has the most beautiful view. So there you have it. This is my new loft style space. I actually really love it. It's only temporary, but I have to love where I live. So I think I've done enough to it, saved a lot of money by repurposing things from the old house, and I feel inspired in this space to create more content for you. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because there's gonna be a lot of new stuff coming your way way. Thanks so much for watching. See y'all next time. La, 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 la.